Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Mindy for Mindy's Crafts and Cash. And today I'm going to be doing week 21 collage from Marguerite Miller's challenge. So for today, you need something with the wings. So I will use some butterflies, a math symbol. So I have an X for multiplication, but for me, it's also gonna mean kisses and something silver. I actually, now in this light, it looks more gold, but it looked silver before when I cut it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll pretend that's silver. And something that came in the mail, and this is a Valentine my father sent to my mother. It's a Hallmark card. While he was overseas in the war, the World War II, and it says a Valentine message across the miles with all my love, Dan. So this was probably around 1943, 1944. And I have all the letters my father sent. So I thought I would showcase that today. Um, a black and white photo. This is my parents in 1970. See how nice it is that my mother wrote on the back when the when it was from. And I'll probably trim that down a little bit. My parents are gone. Mom died in 2010 and dad died in 2015. So it's been a while. And um, let's see. And bonus is something torn. Well, this is already torn. So I'm not going to put anything else on besides that. And when I put this down, I'm just gonna glue the back so it can be opened, even though it looks like it, no, well, it's pretty good. Okay, so let's get cracking. So I thought I would use these, the X, because I'm, I have my parents and all this love stuff, lovey-dovey stuff. I thought I would use it like to symbolize math, but also a kiss. So I'm going to just stamp a lot on the background. So let's see how that works. Okay. We'll just do a lot of random stamping around the page. We could always add more at the end. We'll see how it goes. This book is getting very bulky, so it's not so easy to stamp. Not stamping on a flat surface. I have to show you something funny. Whoops, this is the one I did last week. Look, I did it upside down. I had the book open, I didn't realize it. Oh well, that's okay. Just have to stand on your head a little bit. Okay, so that's good for that. Thought I just bought this. I don't know how it got all dirty already. Okay, so we have some of that. And let's see how we want to arrange this. This beautiful Valentine. And I'm gonna uh, decide where to put this, either on top or over here. And my parents' picture. And this is appropriate because my, I come from a family of florists. My dad was a florist before he started teaching. And my grandfather owned a florist in Manhattan. So to put flowers with them was nice. Let's get this trimmed up a little bit. I became the keeper of all of the old family photos. So finding a black and white photo was not that difficult. Okay. I'm sure I already got ink on it. Okay. I don't even see from where. Okay, so let's see. Could make this a tuck spot and put this over here. So we'll put this on the side. 
and we'll put the butterflies all around and I guess I'll stamp a few more X's. Uh, the only thing is I could put this lower and put my parents higher. That was the year I got married, 1970. Okay. I could make this a tuck spot. I kind of like it that way a little better and we'll do the butterflies. Okay, let's get to gluing. I already wrote the hashtag on there. Whoa, what's all this gunk on here? I started to use my new drawers. So far, I'm happy with it. I made the little one into um, a drawer for washi tape. Got some of that off my desk. Actually, let me just put this on the bottom part. So that's good. And the other drawer, I just, the big drawer, I just kind of started. Have to work on it a little more. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna make this a tuck spot. This will put last. Yeah, we'll add mom and dad. I'm gonna do a little poll about what you would like to see in the near future. I could do a thing about scrapbooking. I could do a thing about diamond painting. I could do a thing about coloring, all the different mediums that you can use to color. Um, I could do more glue booking. I could do ephemera. And just cut that out from a magazine. Now, some people may say, like, why use this? Well, you know what? It's just been a box for uh, how many how many years is it? Did I do that wrong? Yes, I certainly did. So better that I get it out in the open. Let it see the light of day. Okay. Now that this will be a tuck spot. I'm gonna let it dry so I don't get this caught in here. And now we will start to put some butterflies around. Let me see. Put a nice green one up here. <laughs> oh, God, all sticky gooky. So anyway, how was your day? It was in the 90s here in Florida. I spent the whole day at the pool. I had a meeting this morning and then I got to the pool around 1130 and I stayed there till five when we had a thunderstorm. Oh, and I just heard thunder now. It's that getting to be that season. So that was a lovely day. I finished a book. I can't remember the name. Oh, Hotel Nantucket. I can't remember the author. Hildebrand or something. I hadn't really been reading that much lately because at night I tend to, uh, if I, you know, I'll be watching TV and diamond painting and everything. And so I do not get that much chance to, to watch, but um, let's use this one with the red. Oh, no, I already did. Let's use this one. And, um, but I enjoyed reading so much on the cruise at the pool that I said I was going to start doing that. Okay. And I don't really have any too much pink on this page. Let's see, we had another, another washi of, nope, can't 
can't find it. See, I'm trying to make things easier for me, and it doesn't always work out. Here we did I use this one yet? Yes. Yes. Didn't use this one. So we'll try this one. And this one I'll stick. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Over here. And I think I'm going to put a few more X's. And then we'll do a little review. And at least today I did it right side up. Okay, I think I'm going to call it done. So let's just do a quick review. Something with wings. A math symbol, something silver, sort of gold, but don't tell, something that came in the mail, a black and white photo, and the bonus is something torn. And now I've showcased this beautiful Valentine that my dad sent. We can't get together on Valentine's Day for a heart-to-heart -heart talk, but this just comes to say that heart-to-heart -heart wishes and special thoughts, too, are crossing the miles now to be there with you. Well, all my love, Dan. So that's very sweet. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to figure out how to put up a poll. So we'll see how that goes. Have a lovely day. I will be back tomorrow. And I think tomorrow I'm going to try to um, use this new diamond press set that I uh, unboxed yesterday. And then I found out some more things. I was reading all the directions. When in doubt, read the directions. So it should be good. Take care. Bye-bye.